Welcome back everybody to the Bros of TK. I'm Leslie and behind the camera is my brother Jordi and we just stumbled upon something. We found a chateau in France today that has been left behind since 2006 and that was of a horse company. As you can see we're standing now here in the dining room of the place but for me looking at the place I think the owners are starting to clean out the place. It was open we could just enter in through the window over there but lots of things have to seem to be taken out like the chairs around the table and so that's why we want to be quick and film this whole place and give you a last sense of what this beautiful chateau used to be like. I'm going to take you on a tour throughout it and show you all the still all the beautiful parts that are still left in here. Let's go. Ever since the year 1600, the French family, who ran by the name Herault, found themselves on the land surrounding this castle. Over this 400 year period, the family left their fingerprints all over the castle and the surrounding lands. Their fortune came from the breeding and taming of horses and on the side some family members used to do horse races, for which they were very renowned. But great things don't last forever, like they always say. Everything came crashing down in the year 2004, when a doping scandal came to light in the horse racing world. This scandal and some other unfortunate setbacks forced the family to sell off their castle and leave the lands behind forever. In this documentary, we will explore the everlasting remains of their former lives. Let's start off with this little accountancy table over here. And this one is a very special one. It has beautiful upholstery on it. And it also has a little mirror in it, which we don't see often in accountancy tables. This looks more like a vanity slash accountancy table. But the neat thing about accountancy tables is that they also have lots of hidden parts, like uh, little cavities inside of the table. You can't immediately seem to find any in here. Yeah, these are very unique tables that were used back in the day to count all the money. Built in cabinet, like always in French doors and French manners. The door is a little bit stuck, as you can see. There are beautiful pots in here and cups. And above it, Jordi, we have the crest of the people that used to live here. These people were horse breeders. They were one of the most famous horse breeders of this area we're in right now. I'm not going to tell you the area, fortunately. But uh, they breeded horses, they sold horses, they raised horses. They did everything with horses. I'm going to see it upstairs even more, but this whole place is built around horses. And all the acres around here are dedicated to horses. They still do it nowadays, but they don't use the chateau anymore because it got old and it wasn't in use anymore. Got this beautiful cabinet over here. Look at the carving of the wood. Isn't that just fantastic? Wow. A jacket. A hunting jacket, these little pockets were used to store bullets, hail bullets, glasses in here. And over here we have one of the first artifacts of their successful horse racing history. It's probably a trophy, let me check it. Yeah, yeah, this is an emblem over here. It states the name of the castle, so I can show it of course. But they probably won lots of trophies, otherwise they wouldn't have been able to build such a big castle. And over here we got some oil lamps, pretty old school one, an array of different kinds of those. I love to see it. 
Did I point out these beautiful curtains already? I just adore these. Let's go further into the place. I see we are coming here into the hallway with a beautiful stairway going up. Wow. Look at the design on here. Isn't that just magnificent? <laughs> Have you seen this, Johnny? These are just baskets filled with castle keys. Wow. Lovely. I just adore this hallway. You can see it. There's a little deer up there. And I think we are entering, wow, we are entering into the big kitchen of the place. But the design of it is just magnificent. Look at that ceiling, Jody. And you see the color, the discoloring on there? See the, it's, it's turning black, yeah? Yeah. And that's because back in the day, they didn't cook on gas or something like that. They always used to cook on this big fireplace with with wood, so uh, yeah, all the smoke from the wood would go onto the ceiling over the years that this place has been used. That's just magnificent, right? It's insane. Come a little bit closer. Let's have a look at the fireplace over here. I think this used to be the bread oven. Yeah, a bread and pizza oven on this side. And I also have all the tools for the fireplace over here. Very big tools. What do they have on this side? Oh, this is for uh, making the fire. You can still see where the pots are hanging. Right? Yeah. Wow. They have been hanging there for a long time. <laughs> and also the little oven over here. Smaller oven. Probably when they didn't have so many people to feed. Smell is still a little wood oven. Look over here, Johnny. Spider webs from all those years of abandonment. Wow. I truly adore kitchens and castles. And over here, probably only servants used to work because these people were really rich and uh, yeah, they didn't need to lift one finger to do things in their life. Lots of pots over here, probably for wine. And over here is a little storage area for food storage and stuff like that. I was wondering what this birdcage was doing in this kitchen, but I think it was used to hold live chickens or pigeons or something to be prepared for the food. Yeah, that seems the only possibility. Yeah, why would you have like pet, uh, pet birds in your kitchen? This was probably the whole time. Wow. And over here, we have scales to weigh off the flour and stuff like that. I adore these cabinets. They are amazing. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, Johnny. <laughs> and then we have a little room over here that I don't know the use for. I just don't know. Have I? Can you come back here? I forgot to point out this tea kettle. This is a lovely tea kettle. Wow. I think, Jordi, this is the main entrance out of the castle. You can see on both sides, there are doors. So you could come into the place from both sides. And uh, yeah, they had a little fireplace in here. And what people normally do in castles, really rich people do that in France, they put like chairs here. They have, of course, now been taken out, but when guests came that were not that important, they would sit them here, give them a coffee, and they were right out again. So like if a, if a guest that came over to give something or to bring something or to bring post or anything, they would not be allowed to go into the castle, but they would stay in this room. See, there are beautiful paintings around every, above every door on that side as well. Beautiful flowers. And this, I think, was the main living room of the place. Wow. I love this fireplace with the mirror above it. 
the gold accents. How incredible would it have been to live in a castle like this? This is not even painted on. This is like literally a, a painting worked into the wall, as you can see. <laughs> Look inside of the fireplace. They even had this night with the lions around it. And then we have a piano over here. Oh, there's even a little curtain on it. Just play one tune. This still plays. Wow. Isn't that just magnificent? Crazy. Have you seen that bench? <laughs> there's lots of things around it. I'm gonna take off the cover here. Look at this bench. What an amazing Pearl Street bench we got over here. My friend took a picture of it and we're gonna place it right now inside of the video. There you see how this bench used to look without the junk on it. I'm not gonna clean it up because these people are cleaning out the place. And then this beautiful little cabinet over here. Some LPs in there. Wow. What a magnificent room. Let's head over to the other one. We have over here. This room used to be the library. These are the bookcases to each side. And uh, they also had a little Victorian bench here in the middle to sit on. They have now taken out all the books and bound them up to be transported. I actually, it's, it's sad for me that this place has been starting to clean out, but it's also good that the furniture and all the things in here gets a new life, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really oh, that yeah. sad. The mirror. Yeah. It's completely broken, it seems. Yeah. Wow. It's sad. It's crazy. I can't even see myself. <laughs> wow. I think it's time to head upstairs and see what's left behind over there. Let's head up this beautiful stairway. Let's have a look at the upstairs floors. Wow, look just how incredibly this is designed. Going up there to the top floor. Mesmerizing. And we come in the same spiral hallway that we saw before downstairs. Look around, Johnny. We also have a deer head up here. I think we're gonna start off with this room over here. Let's have a look. So like everywhere in the house, there's like these wooden floors. Just amazing. Oh, wow. Look at this. Where are we entering into? I think this used to be the children's bedroom. And why do I think this? You see these uh, two ink caves into the wall. And there probably used to be two beds in here. You can see the mattresses are still there. This used to be the mattress from the bed that was in here. Yeah, so there will be one bed here and one bed to the other side. Over there. And this was probably a girl's room because there are two vanities left behind. And we also have a little picture. Oh no, this is a statue, excuse me. <laughs> What's this device? I have no clue. Made in Japan. Sunrise. Ah, oh, this looks like a light. Yeah, it's probably a light. Here's where the young lady used to make herself beautiful in the morning. Oh, she had a little note in here. What's this? Hmm, this looks like a wine bottle or something like that. Then we have a little bag. Of course, with all her cleaning, uh, all her makeup and perfume bottle and her combs and stuff like that. Even a little mirror in there. Wow. That's just fantastic. 
then she could take it with her when she went away on vacation or something like that. In every single room, of course, would be a fireplace because central heating wasn't a thing back then when this castle was built. Let's go further. I think they also had like a bathroom over here. Yeah, but it's a very basic one. Let me just open this for you, Johnny. Come over. I think we can go further from here. A little sink area. This was to wash yourself at night. Then I had a little sink in this room. But I don't see any toilet. See if this one's open. Then we can go further into the castle. Wow. Here we enter into another bedroom. It seems like another children's bedroom. I want to point out the wallpaper as well. Beautiful blue flowers on there. Wow. Oh, pleasure chest. Yeah. There's a nice suitcase. Look at this. It's completely filled with postcards. Probably from all over the world. This treasure chest has thousands and thousands of letters in it. All handwritten letters, it seems to be. This one is from 19th of October, 1942. In the wartime, this letter was written by somebody around the world. Probably in France, but... <laughs> Let's see what we can find even more. This is a letter uh, from uh, Hussein, it says over here. We have thousands and thousands of more letters in here and comics and all that, these types of stuff. Wow. Even like a selection of newspapers. That's just beautiful. Okay, let's close it back up. This treasure chest is full of memories. There are even more letters over here on the floor, all left behind. I see a passport over here. It says Passport pour l'anglais. Oh. Ah, I see. This is a little booklet, Charlie. And this, this little booklet le learns you to become English. So it all has English translations in here for French words. Je voudrais une chambre à un lit. I want a single bedroom. And this is a pretty old school book depicting how all the body parts were laid out and what they were called and all the pieces of clothing. And then you could translate it from French to English. <laughs> it's cool, right? <laughs> Let's go further. And now again, another fireplace in here. The beautiful mirror above it. Look at this chair first. This one. Yeah, I love the design on it. Wow, and there's these two lion beaks above it. Have you seen those? Probably hand carved. Wow. There's so much to see in this place. A praying chair. And then in the middle of this hallway, there's a huge chest. Wow. This, this is really heavy. <laughs> this is completely filled with hand written letters. You see this? This letter was from 1778. What? But writing it back in the day, it was really insane. It's beautiful, right? This one is from 1785. Am I seeing this right? This is just history left behind. I wish I could read French, but unfortunately I can't. Je suis, I heard it says, I am uh, informé, qui, I'm not really sure, 1788. Wow, even some music notes in this chest. It's just crazy. Let's close it up. Let's close this piece of history. I also really like the knobs on it. 
They make like a knight on top of this chest. <laughs> this doorway. Wow. Leading into leading us into a room. You can go in first, Johnny. Oh, this one is decaying rapidly. Wooden cloths. I think it's called in the English. These are pro these are mostly used, were mostly used by French farmers and Dutch farmers. Really popular back in the day, but nowadays they don't use them anymore because they're totally not comfortable. But back then, this was the main shoes that that farmers uh, used to wear. Wow. What's that? What do we have in here? What's this? I literally don't know, and I don't even, I'm glad I'm wearing my gloves because it seems really dirty. <laughs> Another one of these beautiful cabinets, and this one has curtains in them. But inside are books from the former times. Wow. 1930 this book is from. Oh, lots of dust coming from it. Look at the deterioration. Termites, lots and lots of termites. As you can see, this place is crumbling apart. That's probably why they left it behind. Because the owners of live now over there in another house. Have a look inside of this cabinet. Got some old school teapots in here. See all these markings here on the wall? It seems like there used to be like little emblems on here, little trophies hanging from this wall. And I see like, oh yeah, over here, we have one of those. Oh, they are all from horse racing. You can see 1962, 1961, 1964 it says over here. There probably were thousands and thousands of little trophies that they acquired over the years. And they displayed it over here in the hallway. So every time everybody came, again, went to their bed, they were reminded, or when they woke up in the morning, how successful they were at horse racing. A little bookcase. Ink files. No ink in there anymore. That's what they used to write with. And this looks like a walk-in dresser, an old school walk-in dresser, of course. Let's see, some costumes are left behind. Maybe the costumes that I used for horse racing are in here. This looks like something very typical for somebody who does horse racing. Wow, kids grip. School kids grip. Let's see what's in this one. Over here is bed linen. Oh, yeah. Big jar for wine. And there's there's still wine in here. You hear that? There's oh, still yeah. lots of wine in here. strange things <laughs> there's always when I'm walking through castles I see things like these little vials and everything and I'm thinking to myself what am I holding in my hands here because these things are so old oh, this is a bottle this is water from Lourdes May 1948 this is holy water in a bottle probably uh, like 80 years old right now, left behind in this place. I 
And over here we got another bedroom. And this one is still in nice, a very nice condition actually. The bed is left behind, it's still made. There's a little vase on there. And the bed that you're looking at right now is called a slate bed. And this is an old school name for a bed. Heavy duty, thick, uh, thick pieces of wood were used for the bed. And these will, they never break. Literally they never break. That's much better than beds from Ikea. I also really like this chair. Not a crest of armor in there. Beautiful upholstery around it. Antique collectors would go crazy for chairs like that. We have another room over here. Yeah, castles are always rooms, rooms, and more rooms. Oh, the first thing my eye catches is the stovepipe running through this room. I think this is a chamber pot. And I think I just saw excrement, so <laughs> let's not show that. This was the little bathroom for the bedroom that's next to it. To my knowledge. We have another room behind here. Oh no, excuse me, there's a toilet. Wow, look at this flushing system. Runs the pipe runs down here, and then there, through the wall, into the toilet. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. We were just looking at this little note over here. It's from 1968, and it states over here that Roger Derriac was the owner of this place. And it's about the horses. It's, it's a little note for the horses. I think it's uh, an ownership of a horse, this little note. Put it back over here. We're back in the hallway right now. As you can see, I'm gonna go up later, but first, this is the other side, the other hallway, leading into more bedrooms. Jody. Wow. Douche moi, hein? douche moi, mon frère. Mon frère. <laughs> we forgot, almost forgot this beautiful clock here in the hallway. Wow. Have a look at it. Magnificent. There's there's a stone in here. Nope. As a weight. <laughs> yeah, strange. Let's close it up. Go through this hallway. <laughs> Not gonna go into every single bedroom. As you can see, they are cleaning it out. There's a, again a fireplace in here, left behind. And there used to be the bed to the side. Oh no, there's, there's a crib in here. But unfortunately there's a chair, so we have to go over it. Oh, mesmerizing. I wanna go into this one. This is more like a bureau, a studying room. You have the bureau to study at over here. All the books left on there. Let's see what's in here. Not that interesting. And then behind you, Jordi, we have this bookcase, this old school dictionaries, French dictionaries in here. Dictionnaire Francais. This is A to F. <laughs> That's like crazy. Oh my gosh. Everything has a like a visual description of everything. Wow. This is Who in the world just read just read these things? I think this takes years. Yeah. <laughs> this is A to Bello. Bello to CH. And this goes all the way to Z. <laughs> so you would have a whole bookcase of, of these illustrated artworks, uh, of these illustrated descriptions, encyclopedia. And also the design on it is just wonderful. I'm wondering what a book like this would cost to purchase. Everything has their own description. What it used to be. How it looks like. I think almost everything in the world is in here. Wow. And this is one of those other accountancy desks that I was talking about downstairs. And this one has little hidden spaces in the design worked into it. 
to hide money and stuff like that. As you can see. Okay, let's go further. It's like a birdcage in the middle of the hallway over here. <laughs> and a pretty big one as well. It's, it's divided in four compartments. So they used to house birds in the bedrooms for some sort of weird reason. I would just go crazy because these birds would be chirping all night. Pretty empty bedroom over here. Sign above the door. Wonderful. This leads us into, I think, a little living space upstairs. Yeah. Or the master bedroom, I'm not sure, because the beds have been taken out. But this bed is still left behind over here. You also have like uh, castles have these rooms where there are like little beds to just chill out during uh, the noon time, uh, like a little siesta you would call it. And then they had these little beds to sleep on and then the big beds were for night time. Wow. What's this then? It's quite heavy. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. It's like a sort of clock. Yeah, but the legs have been broken off. Here the legs are. And then we have this beautiful sofa here in the middle of the room. The shoes. The shoes from the people still here. Wow. Wonderful fireplace with the woodwork. Another one of those accountancy cabinets. Fold, but an A to Z combination. But I can't. Oh, I opened the chest. Look at this. Wow. This looks like a money pouch or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. They just stored some books in here for some sort of weird reason. Some bills. Look how, uh, Look at the mechanism, buddy. Yes. Some gold plating on here. Wow. I think it would, the money would be inside of the. Oh, inside of this one, even. So a vault and a vault. Yeah. When you get this one open, you're still disappointed you didn't get to the money. <laughs> what a small sewing machine over here. This is quite a cute one. You could turn it by hand as well. Is this a singer? Mm, I can't see any emblem on there. I don't know. And even in this small little room, they had a fireplace. I think there's one more room down there. I just saw. Yeah, there's one more here. Ah. Oh, wow. This was the bathroom, Jody. Oh, yeah. Lovely little bathroom. We have the bathtub with the paws underneath. Very typical for French, French houses to have those French manors, French chateaus. Even a fireplace here in the bathroom. You want to, of course, have it nice and cozy when you want to chill out in the bathtub with a locally brewed wine. This is the closing mechanism for the sink. Wow. Okay, there's one more thing we gotta look at. That's the upstairs floors, probably where the servants slept. Let's go there right now. floor already now and what you can immediately sense Jordi the castle is grand but the upstairs floors are 
very much narrower, very, uh, the ceilings are low, and uh, yeah, they were for the servants. So the people that worked for the owners of the castle used to sleep in here. Here were their bedrooms. It looks like they also stored some horse stuff up here. The sink, and there would be the bed. Would have been the bed. Wow. There's another one, another one of those rooms where they could sleep. And yet another one, but this one still has a bed in here. And we can immediately look at the bed and see, in comparison to the other beds that we saw, how cheap this one is. Or, yeah, it's not as fancy as the other ones. Just a normal little iron bed, no wood bed or anything for the servants. What's this door here then? Oh, it's a closet. Hmm, <laughs> crazy. And there's one last room up here. Also has a bed frame in it. So also used to be a bedroom. Yeah. Just I think that... we still have to show one thing. What? There was a lot of... Oh, the attic. No, the furniture. The oh, hallway. the furniture in the hallway. Yeah, I just skipped it. I, I thought about it to skip it first and do it at the end of the video. It's very really big. Yeah, this place is magnificent, right? And so huge, always these French castles. You can walk in there for hours and hours. Yeah, this is what you mean, right, Jody? Yeah. The hallway. Like you see, wow. Another one of those beautiful wall clocks. And, and this cabinet, wow. You even have a little label on it. This comes from an auction in Paris. But unfortunately, for this beautiful cabinet, the termites are already taking it over. It's falling apart. As you see. Oh, there's an even another room up here that we haven't checked out yet. This is not a bedroom, but this doesn't seem like a servant's bedroom. It's quite more fancy. Yeah. Has so it's all way higher. Yeah, immediately you can see the, the difference, the contrast between how the people of the castle used to live and how they would treat their workers. Wallpaper, of course. A fireplace in here. The bed doesn't look that fancy. And then a few chests in the middle. Let's see if there are also like these old school paperworks in this in these ones. That sound. Wow. Oh, these is these ones are filled with different tastes of wallpaper. Wow. I always love the sounds that old things make in castles and houses. And then for the last part, the attic, where all the memories were stored that were not used anymore in the house. <laughs> Watch out where you're walking. Yeah. <laughs> Jody almost tripped over something. First off, look at these old school stoves here to the side. I just adore these. Look at these little doors, Johnny. These. Wow. Oh, it was normally it's completely covered in glass. Yeah, but all the glass has broken, I think. Oh, this one is still glass. Yeah, that's still glass. We have another one over here. They all replaced it with plastic, I think. Maybe these stoves were later on used as decoration. Wow. Up here there's a big pile of old stuff that they didn't use anymore. 
just go through a few things. This looks like a press for something in the kitchen. It's to make gray. Mashed potatoes, yeah. yeah. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> gray is something we say in the Netherlands. Oh, filled with old school newspapers. 1913. Let us let us look at this this newspaper from 1913. Wow. We open it up. Oh, this is not a newspaper. Excuse me. This is some music uh, magazine or something like it. Wow. The poor ones and the rich ones. It states over here. Then you see a rich man and a poor man. Unfortunately, I can't read this, but... I'm learning French. I'm learning French. These floors are so wobbly, Jody. Yeah, I was saying too. Yeah. An old school bicycle without wheels anymore. Wow. Let me let's take a little another last glance over there. Maybe bring in these these fireplaces over there as well. Oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. This one is even nicer. It even has tile worked into the fireplace. But all these have also been replaced with plastic. Wow. This is a cool fireplace. You would fill it up like here, over here. And then, let's see. An old school stroller. See, there's leather upholstery inside of the stroller. Come have a look. Leather upholstery inside of the stroller. Mm -hmm. oh, this is such a fancy stroller. And it wobbles like this, so you can rock the baby walking it down the street of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's why I always say ethics are where the memories are stored. An old school spinning wheel. Mm -hmm. I was debating, literally, can you imagine? I was debating if I'm going to film this castle or not. And I'm so glad I did. I was, we, were, we came into here and we saw that the owners were taking out the stuff. But then I just saw the little artifacts left behind. And we, got, we went deeper and deeper now. And I'm just so happy that I filmed it and showed it all with you guys. I hope you liked it as well. And if you did so, please go down there write a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to support us and make us go on these adventures because we are just students and it's very expensive for us, go down in the description and there you can support us on Patreon and give us a little monthly income to explore these places around the world. With that all being said, I want to thank you so much for watching this week's video and I'll see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye bye. Love you. <laughs>